Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, I wanted to just briefly discuss my experience seeing Dayglo abortions, which uh, was last month, I believe. It's been a while since I saw them, so this video is probably going to be a little bit shorter than most I saw videos that I've posted to this channel, uh, simply because I've been so unbelievably busy in the last several weeks that I just did not have time to record uh, a video about this show. Uh, I think it was back early in July when Dayglo performed, uh, actually you know what, it might have been in June even, <laughs> I think it was actually right at the tail end of June when Dayglo Abortions came to Montreal and they played at Trackside. Uh, I've talked about Trackside before on this channel very briefly. It's uh, an underground venue here in the city that uh, is not really like technically above board you know it's it's a place where like you have to ask people for the location because you can't really find it on the internet uh, but the community there is fucking awesome so if you can find a way to go to trackside and see a show I highly recommend it but yeah so Dayglo Abortions was playing and they were joined by three other bands two of which are local from Montreal and the other of which is from Alberta so the first band that went on was Feed, and they're kind of a mixture of grindcore, uh, hardcore punk, uh, crust punk, thrash metal, and power violence, just all like mixed into a blender and shoved into your eardrums. Uh, unfortunately, they recently lost their vocalist, so they were down to a three-piece, but even with them being a three-piece, I thought that they still fucking killed it. Uh, their bassist definitely has like some serious chops when it comes to the riffs that they write, uh, just fucking unreal shit. But their drummer by far steals the show. That guy has so much fucking energy. He is so talented behind the kit. Like every time I watch him, I'm like, damn, this is literally one of the best drummers in Montreal, at least in the punk scene. Uh, he's just a fucking beast, a fucking animal. And I, I love watching him play. Every time I see Feed play, their drummer is always like who I'm focused on the most. Uh, that goes for most bands that I see live, but doubly so with Feed. Up next after them was Union Thugs, who I think are like a six or seven piece band, and they're folk punk. Um, very like explicitly leftist, pro-union folk punk, which uh, is fucking awesome. I mean, you could tell by the name. Their name is literally Union Thugs, so I mean, of course that's like a huge part of what they talk about. Um, but yeah, they, they were fucking awesome. It's like, folk punk isn't really usually my thing. Uh, it's a genre that I flirt with every now and then, but I find a lot of folk punk to be really kind of cringy or just it's not up my alley. Uh, but Union Thugs does it right. They're, they're a band who I think they have the appropriate level of like the folk trappings with like really catchy songs and uh, just awesome performances on the instruments all around. After that was Citizen Rage, who are a Calgary hardcore band, and uh, I was upstairs in the uh, the second floor of Trackside, because basically the way that it's laid out is you have the bottom floor with the stage and the pit and the sound booth, and then above that there's like a little balcony that like goes around in a perfect circle over the, uh, the basement floor, or the, the main floor, and people always are sitting there dangling their legs over, and uh, all people standing behind them are like, looking down and watching the band. Uh, so yeah, that's where I was to watch Citizen Rage, and they were fucking awesome, just really heavy, uh, catchy shit, uh, very socially conscious as well, like their vocalist mentioned the, uh, I don't want to call it scandal, atrocity uh, regarding indigenous children being found in mass graves on residential schools here in Canada. So he was talking a lot about stuff like that. Unfortunately, I was very drunk uh, at this point, so I wasn't 100% cognizant of like everything that was going on, but I still enjoyed them nonetheless. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm so very tired today. Uh, and then up after that, was Dave Blow Abortions. They were the final band, they were the headliners, and I was very, very excited to see them because I've been listening to them for a while now, and they're like a Canadian punk legend uh, group when it comes to just, you know, sheer influence. Like, they're, they're an OG band, you know, from all the way back in the 80s, maybe even earlier than that, uh, when 
since they've been around. But these guys have been around the block for a long fucking time. They've been doing a lot of shit. They've been playing constantly, putting out records. They even just put out a record recently called Hate Speech, which uh, I think is what they were touring in support of when they played at Trackside. And yeah, they fucking killed it. Like, they played a lot of songs uh, that people would recognize, like Art Fuck Kill. Um, just a lot of classic tracks from their uh, their classic records from way back in the day. But they also played some newer stuff. And I actually really like their newer stuff. It has, like, way more of, like, a thrash vibe as opposed to, like, just specifically hardcore punk. So I really dig that. Uh, but all around, like, it was a fucking awesome show. Uh, <laughs> the one thing I... I, I found kind of funny, uh, which I, I kind of noticed the last time I saw Dayglo Abortions, because they came here once uh, since I've been in Montreal back in either 2018 or 2019. Those two years are super mixed up for me, but uh, they came here back then. I went to see them, and their drummer, like, I don't know how to explain this without coming across as rude, because obviously I don't want to, like, insult the guy for, like, you know, his technique or whatever, but he plays drums like this. like. <laughs> His arms and shoulder, his, his arms are basically like parallel to his shoulders. He kind of plays the drums like this. And like, it's just kind of funny to watch because it looks kind of like caveman-esque, but like in a good way, you know? Like, I feel like when people use the, the word caveman when it comes to music, it's usually in a positive light because it just means that you're like digging down to some kind of deeper like rumbling within your soul when you, you hear music that is described is that way. Uh, perhaps it's, you know, uh, digging back to like the, the Neanderthal or Cro-Magnon brain <laughs> and, and making you feel like like very primal uh, in, in that sense. Uh, that definitely comes through in Dago Abortion's music for sure, as, a lot, as it does for a lot of punk and metal music uh, and hip-hop too as well. But yeah, that was my experience seeing Dago Abortion's along with Citizen Rage, Union Thugs, and Feed at Trackside back at the end of June. Uh, probably going to make another video today talking about my experience both seeing and opening for Devil Master, so stay tuned for that one as well. Until then, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.